Good morning again, my precious students. This is teacher Mustafa, and today we're going to complete part two of the spelling with Greek roots. So I need Abdul Aziz Wael. Oh, yes, Mr. what, what you can you see here, Abdul Aziz? Uh, I see two colors and red colors and a clock. Yes, the clock refers to the what? Uh, the time. Yes, and this is the what? One, two, three, four. This is called the what? Hmm. The Aziz? Arrows. Yes, these arrows refer to what? Hmm. What? So this happened what? Then this happened what? Then this happened what? Then this happened what? Uh, colors, they have Yeah, really? Which one happened first? The first one is blue and blue. Yeah, so it's, so things that are related to? Clock. Yes, the clock means? Time. Time, very good. So something is related to time. So what do we call it in the Greek root? Huh? In the Greek root, what is it called? Huh? It's a minute. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Huh? Okay, I'm stopping it. Here, you can see it in here. If something is related to time, so what do we call it? Huh? Her, her crone. Crone. What do we call crone, it? Crone. 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 Very good. So this, the part of the word is crone, right? Yes. Yes. Very good. Chronology. Cron what is it? Chronology. 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 Very good. Chronology. Chronology. Yes, logi means what? Huh? Abdel Aziz, logi means what? Uh, in time or like? No, 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 no. Logi, uh, logi, logi as a root mean what? Means what? Huh? Look here. I need you only to look here. In this. Okay. Huh. So, Logi. Where is Logi? Uh, study. study. Yes. Study of what? Huh. If I say chronology. So, the study of what? The chron. The chron means? Huh? It's here. Time of time. Very good. So what is it all again? Chronology. Uh, the logic means... Uh... Huh? Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, the study of and the, the, the chronology means the time. Time. Very good. So put them together. It's the what? Chronology. Yes, yes. I need the meaning. I don't need the roots. I need the meanings. So it's the what? In time order. Yes, very good. It's time order. But how? Chronology. Translate it to me in the meanings. So it's the study of? Time. Time. Very good. Great. It's the study of? Time. Time. Very good. Now, is it a noun or a verb? Uh, noun. Noun. Very good. It is a noun. Huh. What does it mean? We said that the study of? Time. Time. Very good. Oh, sorry. How many syllables are there? Three. Are you sure? How many are there? Uh, uh, four. Four. Yes. Crow. 
Chronology. Chronology. Very good. Very, very good. Great. And the stress syllable is null. Chronology. Yes. Thank you very much for that, Abdelaziz. Shadi. Shadi. Huh. What do you call this? This is a what? Um. Huh. Read, read, read. Oh, what? What up late? Got, got ready. Rode bike to school. So, so people outside. Yes. So what happened? What is the the thing that happened first? I woke up late. Yes. So this is called the what of events. Um. The sequence uh, of events, right? Yeah. Yes. So here, Shadi, the sequence of events started from the last thing that happened or from the first thing that happened? The first thing. That so happened. this is called the what order? Uh, huh? We've just studied it. Remember? Here. Uh, chronology. Chronology? Chronology. Chronology. It's chronology. Okay, it's chronology. Is it the same word? Or uh, cro huh? The, no, it's clo chronological. Very good. What's Repeat that? after me. Chronological. 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 Very good. Very, very good, Shadi. Now, is this word a verb, noun, or adjective? Uh, it's noun. Is it? Adjective. Yes, it's an adjective. So what does it mean? Huh? It's yeah, the chronology. Yeah, what, what does it mean? Telling the events from the beginning to the end or from the end to the beginning? From the beginning to the first. Very good. From the beginning to end. Following the order in which the, event, the events occurred. That means what happened first, yes, what sir. happened next, what happened then. Yes? I, I didn't answer and I raised my hands first. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Your turn is coming. Don't worry. Okay. So how many syllables are there, Shadi? And one, two, six. Five syllables. <laughs> Guys, why do you get the syllables wrong? Uh, can you read the syllables? You're on a log. No, no, read each syllable alone, please. Each syllable alone. Sharon. Cron. Cron or log ekel. G. E. Kel. Very good. Cron. No. Log. G. E. Kel. Very good. Very, very good. Great. Thank you very much, Shelly. Thank you very much for that. Yusuf Khalid. Hi, mister. Hi, Yusuf. What can you see here in this funny picture? Okay. Uh, animals? <laughs> yes, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bird is eating the sun. <laughs> really? Can a bird eat the gazelle? Uh, I don't know. What, what is he doing, really? What do you think the bird is doing? It's eating his hair. He's eating what exactly? His hair. No, 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 no. What? Some people have what in their head? In their hair? Um, ah. The, you know, the homeless people. They have what in their in their bodies and in their hair and beyond? They have what? Um, uh, uh, 
I, 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 oh my god. I don't have. Uh, they have insects, right? Or bugs, right or not? Yes. Such as what? The flea and lice. Yeah. So what yeah. do you think the bird is doing? Is he eating his head, the gazelle's head? No, it's, e it's eating this insect. Yes, he's eating the insects, very good. So do you think yeah. that the gazelle is happy or sad? Um, maybe happy? Yes, he's happy, of course. Someone is eating his fleas. Of course he's yeah. happy. Someone is making him clean, right? Yeah. So do you think that the bird is happy or not? Happy. Why? Because he's eating. Yes, because he's eating. Very good, Yusuf. So the gazelle, do you think that the gazelle has benefits out of this process? Uh, don't know. You don't know? Someone is cleaning him. Does he benefit or not? Yes. Yes. And the bird, does he benefit or not? Or does it? Yeah. Yes. So both benefit from each other, right? Yes. Yes. This, this phenomena, this phenomena is called symbiotic. symbiotic. Repeat after me. Symbiotic. 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 So can you explain symbiotic to me? What is the meaning of symbiotic? Um, it's two, uh, yes. two ben, ben, okay, ben, two creatures benefiting each, benefiting each other, each other. Very good. This is symbiotic. Very good. It's an adjective and it has yeah. two carriage. Yes. Two organisms and it has, they have interaction between them. They have interaction between them. Let me tell you something also yeah. about another yeah. symbiotic thing yeah. is when is when some birds, the alligators yeah. open their mouth, the alligators open their mouth, and yeah. some birds stand on the teeth. You know why? Why? To pick out the remaining meat from the teeth. So they act like uh, toothpicks. Yeah. With their little picks, they pick the meat and eat it. They pick the meat and eat it. So they clean the alligator's teeth. Let's and here we take it in the science. Yes. See, everything is connected. English, math, science, all is connected, guys. All are yeah. connected, sorry. Everything is connected. Got it? So, yes. Yusuf, tell me here. This word has how many syllables? Four. Four syllables. Great. They are sim. Bye. Sim biotic. Tick. Very good. Very, very good. Great, great, great. Oh, so Adam Salah. Adam is not here. Abdurrahman is Yufi. Yes, Mr. Abdurrahman, which picture? is ugly uh the second the second one so this one right sir. no sir. no this one yes shut down just wait you're next okay so and which one is beautiful the first one the first one okay so can you take pictures like that all the time no no are people who make Advertisement look like that or look like that, look beautiful or look ugly. Ugly people who make advertisements they look ugly. No, 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 they look what? Uh, have, have. They look beautiful, they look beautiful, beautiful, very good. And because they look beautiful, there's something for it. If you look beautiful in front of the camera, it's called photogenic. What is it called? Photogenic. Photogenic. What is it? Photogenic. Photogenic. Very good. 
So being photogenic, what, what is being photogenic, Abdurrahman? Uh, what, what's meaning photo, uh, yes. photogenic? Yes, what is the meaning? Huh? Photo to... No, no, we'll not go for the, for the Greek words now. I just need you to tell me what is the meaning of photogenic? Do you remember the last example about the same girl? Yes. Yes, so photogenic is? A person uh, made yes. photogenic? Yes. It's a person who looks good in front of a camera. It's a person who looks good in front of a camera. Got it? Okay. Okay. This word is an adjective. Okay. As you can see, looking attractive in photographs or on film. Okay. Oh, sorry. How many syllables are there? Four syllables. Four, Four syllables, yes. Four. Genic. Very good, amazing, Abdurrahman. Very good. Thank you for that. Photogenic. Yes. Mister, Mister, can I answer? I didn't answer you in, in the first. Trust me, you will. Trust me, you will. When? Okay. When? After supper? Ha! Huh. Just a minute, then. Um. Uh, Amr. Wait, is this my turn now? Or? Amr. Amr is not here. Can't find him anywhere. Okay, so I need uh, Malik Al Banna. Hello, Mister. Hello. What can you see here? Uh, let me see. It's a water. It's the air sign. It's the earth. Very good. So there's something. There's some another thing uh, for the uh, Greek roots means earth. What what is that? What is it? Can you please tell me? Yeah, study of uh, the earth. Yes, it's what is it? Uh, Logic. Yes. Let me think. Uh, let me think. Biology. Uh, bi biology. Biology. Biology is earth. Really? And uh, no, no, I mean. It's study of, let me see, let me see. Uh, it's geology. Geology. Let's see. It's geography, not geology. Um, you were great. Yes, it's, what is it? It's called uh, geography. Geography, very good. Geography is something that you study, that you study in, uh, you will study later. And if you were a student in Egypt, you will study it alone as a separate subject, okay? Uh, but we know. study it now in social studies. We study it now in social studies. Now, geography, is it a noun or a verb? I think it's a noun. Noun, very good. Now, what does it mean? What do you think it means? It means uh, like... Uh, Related uh, to the what? Uh, let me think. Related me to think. the what? Uh, earth. Earth, very good. It's related to Earth. Very good. So read it. The study of the physical feature of the Earth and its uh, atmosphere. Atmosphere, very good. How many syllables are there? Three. Three. Geo. Gra. Gra fi. Are you sure? Four. G four. Yo. Geo gra. Gra. Fi. Fi. Very good. So, okay, Mr. I want to say something funny. Uh, but just a minute, funny. just a minute, just a minute, please. Just a minute, Malik. Because trust me, we don't have enough time. Shatam! Go to page 61 and you'll find an alien. Huh? Shatam! Hmm. Shatam, are you here? Yes. Okay. So tell me, Shatam, what is the difference between the two shapes that you have? Okay. The thing is, the left one is correct, like the straight, and the shape is like so, 50, yes. 50 percent. 
Very good. So the first one is 50%, 50%, but the other one is 60%, uh, 40% like this. Very good. So does, now the first two, do they match? No. The first two, do they match or not? No, oh, the first two, they yes. do match. Yes, and this one? Doesn't match. They don't match. Very good. This is something of math again. This is something yeah. of math. When we have one shape that we can cut into two, and those two parts are the same, are exactly the same, we call them symmetry. Huh. Mm. Sorry, symmetric. Repeat after me. Symmetric. 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 Now, is it verb, noun, adjective? Mm. If I say a symmetric shape. So verb, noun, adjective. I think it would be adjective. Very good. It would be an adjective. Very good. So wait, it's a noun, sorry. <laughs> Oh, here. It is a noun. A symmetric shape. Oh. So I don't think it's a noun. Maybe it's a mistake. Oh, let me check it. Okay. So okay. Uh, so what is what is a symmetric? What is something that is symmetric? What is it? Symmetric is a shape like that. I know. Huh? Something that is made. Yeah, it's an adjective. It's an adjective. My bad. It's an adjective. You're correct. Okay. And I yeah. know it's, a, and it's an adjective, but whatever. Here. So it, when we cut the shape into two, what happens to the other parts? They look the same. Exactly. Like the huh? other same. Very good. Very good. So Shatam again, <laughs> symmetric means. Huh? That have. The two have to be equal. Very good. If you cut a shape into two, the two parts have to be exactly equal. equal. Very good. Symmetric is an adjective. It's not a verb. It's not a noun. It's an adjective, okay? Mm. It's an adjective. Uh -huh. Okay, so what else? Here. Um, uh, how many syllables are there? Uh, four? Four syllables. There are only three syllables in there. What are they? Sim, met, three. Symmetric. Oh, three. symmetric. Oh, okay. That's, right. that's so screwed up. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. It's screwed up. I don't know why. But whatever, okay? Whatever. Um, yeah. Everyone will have uh, his turn to right. answer. So thank you very much for that, Shatam. Okay. Uh, this is easy. Kareem. Kareem. Hello, Master. Uh, what is the difference between the two pictures? Yes, Master. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. What is the difference between the two shapes, the two pictures? Hmm. Kareem is not here. Master, I can't hear you in Zoom. So I yeah. had bad Wi-Fi network. Uh, okay, okay. So what, what you've told, Master? What is the difference between the two pictures? The, this, the one on them, the one on the left is not right. The sun had to be in the middle. Yes. It had to be exactly on the middle. But the so what Earth about this one? On the middle end. So and the sun is one of the Earths. Very good. So the one on the right, the one on the right. What do we call Earth in a Greek root? Uh, ah, let me. Actually, I can't ah, remember. Like, what do we call we Earth in a Greek root? Like, uh, uh, geology? Really? I said only Earth. I didn't say anything else. I said only Earth. Huh? Only Earth is Geo. 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 Very good. And the Earth here is where exactly? 
It's in the what? In the middle. Very good. What, what, is there another word for middle? Yeah. Huh? The what? We say the I middle of the circle. Do we say the middle of the circle? No, we can't. We, the what of the circle? What do we say? We say the center of the circle. So here it's J O. Huh? Center is like middle. Yes, but that's so another, word. another name for for yes. the for the shape. Of, okay. I know it, but uh, yes. So we it, call this. Look, guys. Look, we call this. We call this. This is our solar system. Okay, so this is solar centric. Okay, but this is geo centric. Geo centered. Some people believe that the Earth is still, and the other planets revolve around Earth. Got it? Though it's wrong, but some people just claim that so this is called geocentric repeat after me everyone geocentric geocentric yeah, told me that it's in the center or like yes. middle, like the center very good very good Kenny. now this now this one is an adjective verb or noun i think yeah it's an adjective it's an adjective, okay? Yeah, Most know. things with the ik, uh, with the rick at the end, they are noun. Uh, sorry, they are adjectives, okay? Geocentric is an adjective. What does it mean? It represents Earth at the center. It represents Earth as the center and everything revolves around Earth. Oh, this is a great science and math class. It's not an English class then. Right, guys? Mister, I feel like you are the all, you are all the lessons. Like I, I feel like you the Arabic. Uh, I feel like you the uh, uh, so, science <laughs> and the English in the same time. Okay, Karim, how many syllables are in geocentric? Geocentric. There's huh. something weird than the book. Four syllables. There are G O C E N T R I C. Very good. There are only yeah, it's all the, also by them, um, but J O um, is wrong. Really. Yeah, J O sin trick. Very good. Mister, now something weird just Malik, me. Malik, please. We only have nine minutes left, and we didn't still we still didn't finish. Okay, so please allow me. Okay. Okay. Uh, Muhammad Hussein. Yes, Mister. What is this? What is inside the shape? What is this? Yeah. This is the, 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 the first card. This is, I don't know what is what <clears throat> Huh? So th does this measure or doesn't measure? Measure. Yes, so measure is. means what in the Greek roots? Huh? Measure means mm -hmm. what? Means measure the, the, the speed. Means what is the meaning of measure? What is the meaning of measure? What is the root for measure? It's what? Meter. meter. Meter, very good. It's meter, very good. It's meter. So here, now this is something that we do what? We measure the what with it? The, the, the kilograms. Kilograms, really? Kilometer, the kilometers, very good. The kilometers, very good. The kilometers or the kilometers, very good. So this is to measure the kilometers. Let's say how this is it. It's called odometer. Repeat after me. Odometer. 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 Very good. Now, what is this number, Muhammad? Is this the number, the speed of the car? Or the kilometers the car have tra has traveled? No, the kilometer. The, the speed of the car or the kilometers that the car has traveled? Uh, 
Very good. This is it exactly. Odometer. Odometer is a noun and it refers to an instrument for measuring the distance traveled by a wheeled vehicle. Okay, it has four syllables. O dom me ter. Very good. Um, uh, I need Yusuf Hani. Now, what is the big one, Yusuf? What is the big one? To me again. Uh, the big one is two hundred. Yes. Now, what is it? What is it? Why do Why do we use it? Okay, why do we why do we use it? Yes. We know what from it. We know what? The kilometers? No, this big one. This big one here. This one. Here. Okay. All the of those. Of the, the very good. The, the speed of the car, very good. So do what is what is the meaning of measure? Speed? Hi, speed what? Huh? So speed measure, measure means what in the root? Root is, okay, speed. Uh, huh? Speed. speed measure, so measure means what in the root? Measure means what in the root? Yes, look at the screen. Okay, measure, speed measure. Very good, very, very good. It's called speedometer. Repeat after me, speedometer. 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 Uh, no, not uh, meter, meter, speedometer. Speedometer. Very Mr. good. Write it. I will write it. No, it's okay. It's it's a noun and it shows the what? It shows the speed. It shows the? Speed. Speed, it very good. Speed. It has four syllables. Okay, it has four syllables. So let me ask Elias. Hi, Mister. Elias, what is the difference between those two people? Uh, the uh, uh, there's a guy on uh, uh is disabled, and the other guy uh, uh can walk normally. Very good. Now this disabled guy. Do you think that he can walk? No. So we can say that he is what? <coughs> he is what? He is uh, disabled. Yes, he is disabled or what? In other words, <coughs> when someone goes to the doctor, why does he go to the doctor? Uh, sick. Sick. Very good. Now, do you think that this sick man will be able to recover? No. So his disease will stay for, with him for a long time, right? Yeah, right. So what is this called? A what disease? Ha, huh. I told you before. It's called chronic. Repeat after me, chronic. 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 So chronic is an adjective. What does it mean, chronic? Elias, what does it mean? For a long time. Very good. It means for a long time. Very good. It means for a long time. It has two syllables. Crow, Nick. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you, Elias. You helped me a lot, really. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, so this one, um, uh, you won't know it because, you know, it's, it's really into science. You know, only a grade 11 or grade 10 will know it. This is called... Photo cell. Repeat after me. Photo I cell. It. Yes. I, I didn't know. know it actually. So uh, I thought you wouldn't know it. So I, I said that I will just explain it. A photo cell, it's a noun and it's a, a device using photoelectric effect to generate current. Okay. This generates electricity and I don't know why. And don't ask me why because I don't know really. You need a science teacher to tell you about it. Okay. So how Mister, you learn it science? <laughs> okay, so photo cell has three syllables, photo and cell. Um, here I need uh, Ryan. Yes. Yes. What is here? Up here. 
Here is the hydrosphere and here is the lithiosphere. And what is up here? It's called the what sphere. Huh? You studied it in science. Huh? It's called the what? Mr. We didn't study it. No, you studied it. I swear you studied it. No, Mr. Don't swear we didn't study it. You studied it. No, don't Mr. Okay. Sorry. It's called the atmosphere. It's called Atmos. So you studied it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, you did. Okay, never yes. mind. So how if you combine how, did it? how guys, will you remember from like two years if, ago? If you if you combine the atmosphere and the hydrosphere and the lithiosphere, the lithiosphere, they will all give you an biosphere, a biosphere. Okay, if okay. you combine everything, everything, every natural thing, it will give you a biosphere. Because okay? bio means Mr. Life. Bio means life. Bio means life. And life. Means Bios okay. Biosphere is a noun and it's all around the globe. Okay, it has three syllables. Mr. And this is this is what this is the last thing to just yes and help me with that. Mr. What can you see how here? Many, how many words we take? It? Yes and we take. Yes and yes and is not here. Yes, yes and what are those? What are those? See rock. Rocks. Very good. They are rocks. So those rocks, we need the study of rocks. The, the study of rocks is called. Geology. Love. Geology. Repeat after me. Geology. Geology. Yes. Ge geology is a noun and it is the study of physical features or uh, the stones. Okay. Uh, photon is also a noun and it's a particle. Okay. I don't really know it. And I guess we, yes. 